One issue is the one of transplantation. You know, Jerry Goodwin uh, grew up in West Virginia, and when he was, uh, I think about 10, moved with his dad and brother to uh, Pennsylvania, and his dad got a job working in a steel mill, and then Jerry ended up doing that too. Um, but they brought their dances up from West Virginia, and they weren't like the dances in the South, in, in Pennsylvania. And one example is they didn't do singing calls. It was from Jerry starting to call dances and people requesting them over and over again that he had to start learning a few singing calls. And so that's one example of how that, the, if you will, the demands of the consumers, you know, drove him to add something to his repertoire. Uh, but he also brought this wealth of um, depth of what he did. Jerry didn't doesn't have, you know, breath to what he does. He doesn't call like a hundred different formations. He calls square dances, but he has very nuanced dances, you know, that come that are very old and that have a lot of, you know, character to them. And so um, so callers in Pennsylvania learned his dances because they'd come to hear him dance, and he learned from other callers in Pennsylvania. And so, you know, that, that now became this synergistic, it was something new now because it was a new influence. You know, they say that when there's a community and someone new enters that community, that the role is to, to some extent that community to reinvent itself, to accommodate the new input, the new provocation or stimulation or, you know, resource. And so to, to some extent that happened. Each caller and each band would get known for certain things. So dancer, and I'd know that from asking dancers. I, you know, I talked to a dancer who's 70 years old who goes to a lot of dancers. Let's say someone recently widowed. And so that was his way of, you know, socializing and meeting other people. And I'd say, tell me about the various callers and bands. And he'd go, that's the best singing caller. So that for singing dances, he's the best, and his band's the best at playing it. Hoedowns, patter call, that's the guy to go to. But if you want the best couple dance music, then you go over there. Then they talk about the halls, and they'd say, you want the best kolbasa? Go to this dance. The best pie, it's over here. And they'd know what all the different dances offered, because you know, the dances might have been 20, 30 miles away, but that was nothing in these, you know, pretty rural areas. And so uh, so I started to realize that, you know, that it was both the halls, you know, influenced it, callers who came from elsewhere, and also at television and radio, the barn dances that were on the radio all over the country totally influenced it. You know, you, I read an article, I don't know if you've ever read this article that Penn Fix wrote for CDSS Journal 20... 25 years ago, describing in Spokane, Washington, the typical Grange Hall type dance, you could have crossed out Washington State Road in Pennsylvania, and he was describing the same structure, you know, that you come to a dance, there's a couple squares, a couple, couple dances, couple squares, couple, couple dances, then some kind of fundraiser in the middle, and everyone eats a lot of food, and then it repeats after the break, you know, it's, and, and that happened all over the country, and... In somewhat the same way that the same sort of template for a contra dance, you know, blah, 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 and you end with a waltz, and then it's a break, and blah, 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 and you end with a waltz, and it's in. I mean, there's that same template all over the country at the you, same time. You're right, but what was different back then is we didn't have as much mobility back then. Yeah. You know, there wasn't as much mobility and as much media, and so now, you know, you know how well-traveled people who are av avid dancers are, but back then... These weren't necessarily dance communities. These were communities that had a dance. And so I think it's fascinating that this template existed in so many places throughout our country, you know. And, and some people attributed it to um, the barn dances they heard on the radio or that they saw on television. 